Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly reporting tonight from Southern California. Thanks for watching us. The truth about white privilege. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Last night on The Factor, Megyn Kelly and I debated the concept of white privilege, whereby some believe that if you are Caucasian, you have inherited advantages in America. Talking Points does not, does not believe in white privilege. However, there is no question that African Americans have a much harder time succeeding in our society than whites do. But the primary reason is not skin color, it's education, and not only book learning. Here are the facts. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the unemployment rate for black Americans is 11.4%. It's just over 5% for whites, 4.5% for Asians. So, do we have Asian privilege in America? Because the truth is, that Asian American households earn far more money than anyone else. The median income for Asians, close to $69,000 a year. It's $57,000 for whites, $33,000 for blacks. So the question becomes, why? And the answer is found in stable homes and an emphasis on education. 88% of Asian Americans graduate from high school compared to 86% for whites and just 69% for blacks. That means 31% of African Americans have little chance to succeed in the free marketplace because they're uneducated. They're high school dropouts. Asian Americans also tend to keep their families intact. Just 13% of Asian children live in single parent homes, compared to a whopping 55% for blacks and 21% for whites. So there you go. That is why Asian Americans, who often have to overcome a language barrier, are succeeding far more than African Americans and even more than white Americans. Their families are intact and education is paramount. American children must learn not only academics, but also civil behavior, right from wrong, as well as how to speak properly and how to act respect respectfully in public. If African-American children do not learn those things, they will likely fail as adults. They will be poor. They will be angry. And they often will be looking to blame someone else. One caveat, the Asian-American experience historically has not been nearly as tough as the African-American experience. Slavery is unique, and it has harmed black Americans to a degree that is still being felt today. But in order to succeed in our competitive society, every American has to overcome the obstacles they face. And here is where the African-American leadership in America is failing. Instead of preaching a cultural revolution the leadership provide excuses for failure. The race hustlers blame white privilege, an unfair society, a terrible country. So the message is, it's not your fault if you abandon your children, if you become a substance abuser, if you are a criminal. No, it's not your fault, it's society's fault. That is the big lie that is keeping some African Americans from reaching their full potential. Until personal responsibility and a cultural change takes place, millions of African Americans will struggle and their anger, some of it justified, will seethe. The federal government cannot fix this problem. Only a powerful message of personal responsibility can turn things around. 